Welcome fellow developers to the only YouTube channel dedicated to learning the OutSystem platform. Welcome back developers to the OutSystems Quick Tip class. Today we are going to learn about how to delete using the uh, EC CRUD uh, process. Anyway, there we go. Uh, and our video starts in one, two, three. All right, welcome back to our video. Today we are going to uh, be doing a delete. I'm gonna show you how to do some deletes. So first we're gonna go back to a page that we had already created, the students page. And that's in front of us. We're gonna open in a browser, see what it looks like. Uh, you have a grid with the word uh, students and then selects next next to it. So what I want to do is I want to have a column that says delete so that we can click on that and delete a line from the uh, from the grid. So let's close this. And the first thing we're going to do is let's see. I need to go to the column and it's kind of tricky sometimes to get that there we go click on there and right click and i'm going to add new column to the right which introduces a column right next to student i am going to um, change student uh, top of the student to say select and here i am going to say delete and now i need to have a uh, an expression that's also going to pass a variable and in the uh, for the select, we're passing the uh, this the student ID from the get uh, from the um, from the uh, aggregate, and that is exactly what we want to do here. So I could just go ahead and copy uh, that link and put it on there, and then modify it. Um, and it's just easier if I just copy the whole link. So I'm going to copy the whole link right here. I'm going to go to a little bit higher up, click on the link icon. There we go, copy, and now I'm going to paste it. And it should say select, and it should be identical to, to, the, uh, to the link. Uh, and I'm going to change this to delete the expression to delete. And let's see, and the link. Right now, uh, the link is going to the detail page or screen, and we don't really need that. So we're going to create a new client action. And we are going to call this client action delete link on click, and it's going to hold a server action. So if we look at this, we see we realized that it's already automatically added the student uh, ID uh, to it because we had already in, in put that in the previous screen. And here we're going to create a new server action. And we click on the new server action, and I'm going to rename it. delete server action and if I click on that we are going to rename the actual server action under the logic tab to delete server action otherwise it's going to say action one all right well that's a good chunk of the work that we need uh, next let's go ahead and get the function that does the delete from the table so we go to the students table and we're going to grab the delete student and we put it on there and it if you if we go back we can see that we are passing an argument and that argument it's going to have to be um, an id right because we're, we want to pass an id to delete and um, so i'm going to add an input variable call id to delete and i'm going to make that variable a student data type, student identifier data type. And there we go. All right, so we, we got all, well, it didn't take. Let's double click again. There it is. Okay, good. 
And now we are going to take a look at the function and what is it that the function requires. Well, let's let's step back here. First, we're going to pass the the ID from the client. So we're we're here at the grid level and we're going to pass the student ID to the client. And there it is. There's the va uh, the value that we're passing from the grid. Oops. Sorry about that. Just want to show you guys that that is indeed what it's looking for. Uh, if we go to the student and we go to the uh, to the actual link, not the expression, but the link. There we go. You see that we're calling the delete, delete link on click and that we are actually passing the get student list current student table dot id so there we go so i know i'm passing that and so there's the variable name so now i um I'm curious why it's got that little wiggly line underneath usually that means an error oh it says that i'm exposing a server action without authentication we'll we'll deal with this later it's that not that big of a deal um the little orange lines will not make it crash. The red ones will. So, uh, <clears throat> so here we we need to pass an ID, and I do. It's the ID that I passed from the previous uh, uh, um, from the client action, and we should be ready. So now I'm going to hit the, the compile. Now I made sure that I left something out, and I, because I want to cover it with you, just so that you can look at it. So. Here we are. We are ready to compile and we are ready to to look at our grid and we're going to go to the student page or screen and we do have a new column. And I'm going to add a student and I'm going to add some uh, junk data. That's the student ID. That, I, I don't need to be put it on there. Okay, here we go. Yeah. I can't make a change there anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to put some junk data so that we can spot it, and I'm going to save it. And of course, it's not going to show at the front. It's going to be at the very end. There it is. Now I'm going to delete it. Interesting. It is not deleting. I wonder why. Hmm. Nope. See, it's not deleting. Well, let's take a look at it. Let's see. This is a great, great time to... Uh, to explore some debugging. Keep deleting and it doesn't work. Surely it must be an error somewhere else. Could not be an error in my code. Hmm. All right, fine. I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm expanding this a little bit, make it, taking it too far. So let's, uh, let's do something here real quick. We're going to um, we're going to go over here and take a look at this. Uh, that that seems to be correct. But let me give it a uh, press F8 to to add a uh, a breakpoint and then go to the debugger and click on Start Debugger. And if I hit Delete there, the debugger stops right there. And if I move this screen out, I can see that I have actually passed an ID, an ID number. So we know that at least from the grid to that point is working correctly. So what else could it be? Hmm. Let's see. That's working. That's weird, isn't it? What else could it be? Anybody knows? No. Okay. Well, let's go in a little bit deeper. Like I said, I, I made this on purpose. I know, I know what's going on here. So uh, let's go uh, to the start debugger again and take a look at that grid. And if I go all the way, wait a minute, it's gone. It disappeared. But how can that be? Hmm. Let's add. Let's add another uh, just random letters here to. 
for a student and see what we get. All right, so I go all the way to the back and there it is. And if I hit the lead, I see that I'm passing an ID and I know that that ID must be getting to the, to the uh, function that deletes. So th that certainly is not the problem. I wonder what the problem is. Okay, I'm going to disable this breakpoint here. Remove the breakpoint. I know what the problem is, guys. It's not we're not refreshing the table, the read, the read again. We're deleting, but we need a refresh of that table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag over the aggregate and that should refresh the table. So let's take a look at that. We start debugging. Where uh hold on, I got to grab my Stop and start debugging. Okay, where is, there it is. All right, so we refresh it. We're gonna add another one, another person, another student, just random letters. And let's see if it shows up. And if I go all the way to the end, it does show up. Now this time it should disappear right in front of us. Now, why is it not disappearing? Any suggestions? I know why, and I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> I, did, I had the same bugger, uh, debugger as before, um, the same browser, and uh, that kind of screws it up. So I, this time I'm gonna get a completely fresh browser and go from there. So I'm getting a new browser generated, and I'm going to pull that up. I'm going to add a student uh, over here, some random letters, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to save it. It's going to show up, I know, at the end. There it is. And I'm going to delete it. And boom, it disappears because it has refreshed. So just so that you're, uh, just remember, one, you do need that refresh to refresh the data in the grid. And uh, you also need to go ahead and close your browser and reopen it. Okay, thank you guys very, very much for uh, being here in our video. Come back again. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and hit the bell so that you are made aware when we make more videos. Talk with you guys at a later time.